Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I want to pour into the Duo Coaster Mold, the geode form from Molds and Shapes. And I'm already preparing here my resin or my colored resin. So I'm pouring the clear resin into my cups. The resin I'm using is the Ultracast resin from Stephanie Etter. There I bought it. And the colors I will be using is a purple color, it's an interference gold and some glitter. So the purple color is the iris, iris, I hope I say it correctly, bloom. And look at that, it's very, very shiny, very sparkly. It's a really yummy color. The second um, color will be the um, Interference Gold from Loha's Art Corner, the Spirera. <laughs> I hope I said it correctly this time. I still have problems pronouncing it correctly, but it's also very wonderful mica. And yeah, people who watch my channel now that I use this Interference Gold, mm, yeah, a lot of the times. Yeah, I need to mix it really, really good because I went with a decent amount of the um, interference gold into my clear resin. You can better stir a little bit longer than to less, but you will see later. <laughs> I guess I didn't stir well enough, but I didn't see any powder floating. And my glitter mix is now the light gold glitter and I put some of the purple glass stones into my resin. And all these items are from Laura's Art Corner. I will link Laura into my description box so you can check her out. You can see my promotion code. Same with modes and shapes, you will see the promotion code and the link to modes and shapes. So there you go. Now back to pouring. <laughs> I like I always do. I like to work with a lot of clear resin. So I'm just putting the clear resin into the bottom of my mold. Because I, I find that you um, really achieve beautiful effects when you first have the clear resin so that that the colored resin can really float on top and can do its magic i'm getting rid of some of the rid of some of the air bubbles with my dotting tool and then i can start pouring soon yeah i found some more little bubbles trapped on the bottom of the mold so yeah that's when you are busy <laughs> but i like to show the whole process what i'm doing so anyway this is now the iris iris um, bloom iris yeah and I'm going along the edges of the first coaster. Taking my time. And then I'm taking the interference gold and I'm pouring next to the purple color. Sometimes you need to really think what, what did I do? Did I do it like this? But I'm, I'm now correctly, I poured next to my purple color. Now I'm taking my clear resin again and I'm pushing everything to the sides. Giving it a quick torch 
and then I'm putting my glitter mix into the center Yeah, there fell something of my glitter into the side of the mold. I, I keep on doing this. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. Always say it belongs to the art. Also the tiny mistakes. And now I'm pouring a little bit more of the purple color. So this is my first coaster done, practically. I'm only putting a little bit of the clear resin on top of the glitter mix. And then I can start with my second coaster. And I'm just pouring the purple into the center on top of my clear resin. Then I'm pouring the interference gold on top of the purple color and again the purple and now I'm taking my clear resin and I'm pushing out the colors like that so it's a completely different effect I guess I've done this also um, a few times and now I'm putting my Glitter mix into the center. There you see it. Also a quick torch. Please always be careful using the torch. Now I'm also going with some clear resin on top of my glitter mix. So it's, it's really pushing out a little bit. And this is a close-up, and look what the glitter did to the first coaster. It just spread it. And somehow it didn't allow the resin to move forward. And here it spread it too, but I had too much resin in the center, colored resin. So it doesn't do anything. I'm, I'm quite curious for the demolding, to be honest. So next day, it's 24 hours later, I can demold and I'm very curious, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, they pop out easily, like always, out of the molds. The molds are really from very high quality. And let's have a look for the first one. I like the effects on that side. And look at that. It's more the purple color, but I have the crackle effect. And in fact, I love how the gold is sneaking through the sides. But there you also see a little bit of the gold mica, which I didn't stir properly. But it's very interesting what happened there. <laughs> and now the second one, and look at that. This is more like the dragon effect, dragon scale effect. And I love the second coaster very much. They are both beautiful on its own, but the second one is my favorite. This is the close-up so you can see the effects. So there's a crackle effect. And the glitter in the background, it, it has actually a lot of depths. And this is the other side, which is very interesting as well. And this is my favorite, and look at that. Look what what the interference gold did. And this one has so much depth. And I actually love the clear edge. See it? Okay, with this, I love and leave you. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And see you for my next video. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.